not expecting that. <laughs> when Sienna was born, we lived the life of our dreams for almost two years. <laughs> Sienna met or exceeded all of her developmental milestones. She spent almost every day at the local park building the foundation for the healthy and active lifestyle we'd always dreamed of for her. She was independent and strong. One day she was toddling along carrying her toy purse, as she always says, uh, when a little boy pushed her down. She got right back up and whacked him with her purse. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the, the ideal response, but he was much bigger, and I secretly cheered her for standing up for herself. <laughs> and I was on my way towards being the parent I'd always dreamed of, giving her leeway to make mistakes, uh, letting her fall down and get right back up, figuring things out for herself. I wanted her to dream her own dreams and pursue them. I might have suggested Olympic swimmer, but I wouldn't have pushed it. Just look, she was a natural. <laughs> but then at 21 months during a nap time, she woke up screaming. We didn't know what happened. It wasn't until about two days later um, that we discovered a giant goose egg on, her f on the top of her head. It was giant, the size of an actual egg. Her pediatrician noted it was impressive, but wasn't concerned. It wasn't until about two days later that this happened. Uh, we went straight to the ER. They did a full set of tests um, and, and sent us home with a clean bill of health. Um, then a couple of months after that, um, it had cleared up on its own, but an everyday injury turned into a giant swelling on her neck, which moved and changed, always staying hard as a rock, eventually becoming a shoulder blade the size of a grapefruit. After another trip to the ER, um, and several months of seeing more than 20 different specialists, we finally had our diagnosis, FOP, a condition where any bump or, or fall could cause out of control bone growth and lock her in place forever. Our diagnosing doctor gave her a life expectancy of 20s and sent us on our way. The details of that appointment are burned in my brain forever. My dreams were crushed. But that night, we went home, and we scoured the internet, and we learned about you, <laughs> all of you, and the work that you're doing. And we went from devastated to hopeful. If something could stop the progression of FOP, Sienna could still live whatever life she dreamed. And, uh, and patients who had been locked in place could potentially be freed. My dreams of Olympic trials became dreams of clinical trials. After learning that injuries could cause flare-ups, falling down was no longer a learning experience for my unsteady toddler. In fact, falling down was not, no longer an option at all. I became worse than helicopter mom. I became octopus mom. Hands all over her, all the time. If she was going to fall, I was going to catch her. We got her a helmet. Of course, we decked it out in sparkles and a tiara. Um, we padded every inch of our living space. And I became a continuous repeat cycle of no running, no twirling, no, 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 be careful. Uh, and we had to helplessly watch as she endured more than a year of painful flare-ups all over her neck, back, shoulders, and stomach. We stopped bringing her to that park. We took her out of her gym classes. We pulled her out of all active or potentially dangerous activities, like hiding in this podium. <laughs> Um, but we still let her have fun and get messy in art classes, music classes, and let her open her own playroom medical clinic. For a while now, she's wanted to be a veterinarian and a doctor. But if it was humanly possible, we would have wrapped her in bubble wrap. As she's gotten older, she's gotten steadier on her feet and become able to do more um, on her own, carefully and independently. We let her dance and twirl um, on soft grass, carpet, or her favorite, the beach. Although that still makes me really nervous. <laughs> I'm so proud of her, but remain terrified that her independence could be taken away from her with just one misstep. But my dreams for her future are back where they started, because of all the work that you were doing. I dream of the day when my protectiveness is no longer needed, when I can stop yelling, be careful. Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> if you didn't hear her, she said she dreams of that day too. <laughs> I dream of where we'll be and what we'll be doing when we learn that an effective treatment is ready. I dream of the day when I won't have to hold my breath and check her for new bumps every morning. I dream of the day when FOP is just gonna be the topic of a very powerful college application essay about a challenge that Sienna has overcome. She'll get in anywhere with that essay. <laughs> I dream of the day when Sienna will have opened her first pet and owner medical clinic. And when she diagnoses a patient, or a pet for that matter, with FOP, she can just say there's a treatment available and here's where you get it. Thank you all for joining us this week. Thank you for giving us hope. And thank you for ensuring that one day the life of our dreams becomes our reality. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.